Hi Capricorn, welcome to your March 2019 horoscope. This is one very big month. Not only is Mercury going retrograde, pulling you maybe into the past, asking you to reassess, reevaluate, and Uranus is moving forward, changing sign on the same day, pushing you into the future, asking you to awaken and to move into a heightened state of consciousness and awareness. So you might feel yourself being pulled in two directions this month, but just know that you're making way for something new to come in. Let me break the month down for you lovely Capricorns. On the second, Venus is moving into this third house. As you can see, a lot happening in this third house. Sorry, that's wrong. Mercury's retrograde. Venus is moving into your second house on the second of the month. And this is going to be great for money, finance. Possibly some good news financially. Good news about a raise. Good news about a job situation. But also a wonderful time maybe for rediscovering one of your talents something that you enjoy doing and maybe even turning that into a money-making income of some kind. It's also a really wonderful time for really appreciating yourself Capricorns. Yes I know you've been through an awful lot of things and now Saturn's in your sign as well so you've had a lot of lessons, a lot of soul searching going on and this Venus brings you a little lightness here and also an opportunity to find gifts and talents that you didn't know you had. So see what you're drawn to. See what you love doing right now, right at the moment. And then give yourself permission to follow that a little bit and see where it takes you. So Mercury going retrograde on the 6th in your third house on the same day as Uranus coming to join Mars for this month in your fifth house. And this Uranus will stay here until 2025. And when a planet changes sign, it's at its most powerful at the change point. So this is a really strong month. So the Mercury retrograde in the third, this is not the best time between the 6th and the 29th for signing new contracts, for getting into new deals or situations. But it is a good time for renegotiating a contract for renegotiating a deal. You might find you're able to get a bargain. And it's also a good time for completing something that you've been working on prior to the 6th of this month. Um, this uh, Uranus in the 5th with Mars there, this is a time really a wake up call for you to get in touch with your inner child, your playful self. Very often Capricorns, you're quite serious, quite responsible, always trying to do the right thing. This is a catapult out, encouraging you to start your own business, to be independent, to be free. You might be breaking out of an old relationship or changing it dramatically so it doesn't feel so restrictive. This is an opportunity for you to follow your dreams, something you enjoy, and you may find that a new romance, a new love, comes into your life, but more than that, a new love for yourself. You may find yourself doing a really exciting project. Think about what really excites you and what you're drawn to, and then give yourself permission to follow it a little more. On the 8th, we've got a new moon in this third house, which is new beginnings for communications in some way. You might really, with the Mercury retrograde, hear somebody differently. You may feel listened to in a new way, appreciated differently. And it's an opportunity to create a whole new network of people around you. So you might want to research it. You see, Mercury retrograde is very good for researching and gathering information. And very good for writing and blogging and doing podcasts and things like that. On the 20th, we've got a full moon happening in your 10th house. And on the 21st, the sun moving into the 4th. So this 10th, 4th axis on the go here, Capricorns, always this finding balance between home, family, private time, 
and work and career and being out there in the world. This moon energy, full moon in the 10th, there may be some changes in your career. You might be moving. There might be a move of job or a move of location. And also here with the sun in the fourth, there could be some good news about a family member and also an opportunity for you to shine in the home, to find maybe, maybe to do one room in the home, to do it up, to do it in a way like a shrine or something nourishing, nice colors, but to do something very uplifting with your environment. And finally, on the 27th, Venus joins this third house. Wonderful time for learning, for studying of any kind. So anything that you're drawn to learn, it's a really good month for doing that and also for teaching and sharing. So I thank you for liking this video, for commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.